Thanks for joining us again for the continuation of our Tablet PC training. This is Starla with Icon Pareto. In today's edition of Pareto TV, I'm going to be teaching you how to handwrite and draw directly into an application such as Microsoft Word or Outlook. I will also be showing you how to write into a scanned or emailed document. I'm going to start off by opening a Microsoft Word document to demonstrate the ink annotations feature. You want to make sure you have the correct toolbar showing. I'm going to go up to View, Toolbars, and make sure my Ink Annotations toolbar is selected and the Reviewing toolbar. The first icon is your pen. Clicking on the arrow, you can choose the type of pen, ballpoint, felt tip, or a highlighter, all with the standard colors. If you'd like to choose a different color, you can click on this icon and pick a different color. You then just handwrite right in the document. If I want to change the thickness of my line, I will choose this icon. And when I need to erase something, there's my eraser. The next icon lets you switch back to using your cursor to select the ink that you've already put in and move it or insert any extra text. The last icon lets you switch back and forth between the original and edited document. Another feature is the ink comments. I can put my cursor in a word or select a group of words and find my icon at the top, Ink Comments, or select from the drop-down box. It will then highlight the selected words, enclose them in brackets, and add a free writing box over on the right side of the page. This allows me to handwrite a note about the selected words. So I want to check this later. Next, we're going to look at how to insert free drawing or handwriting into Microsoft Outlook. Here I have a new email, and we want to make sure we have the correct toolbar at the top. View, Toolbar, Ink, Drawing, and Writing toolbar works best in Outlook. When I click on my pen, the program opens a drawing box. In Outlook, I can only write inside this drawing box. I'm going to draw a little sentence here. Once I have finished drawing in that box, I can then click back on the other side of the page and be able to select my graphics and move them around. I also have the same type of pins on the side, and I'll show you an example with the highlighter. I can then move this highlighter right over the text. Just a little different than working in Word. No more running to find a fax machine to sign something. Just email it to me. When I get an email with an attached document, when I open it, I can then just print it, go up to File and Print, to Journal Note Writer. It will then ask me to save my document and open in Windows Journal. This gives me the ability to edit my documents. I have different types of pen and size, different size highlighters, and different colors along the bottom to choose from. I can always pick a custom color as well. I'm going to go ahead and edit a little bit of this document. I don't want that. I think I want beige. Another great thing about this program is you can insert a text box. So I'll pick my space there, right click on it to format my text. Here I can change the font. 
the font style, and the font size. Clicking on that orange box, I can then insert my text. and move the text box to fit where I'd like it. I'm going to finish editing the document with some blue pen. And I'll use my highlighter. Circle this. And I think I would like a thin pen the very fine point to make my signature. Now that I'm finished editing the document, I can send it back to the person who sent it to me. I will go up to File, Send to Mail Recipient. I can send it as a journal note to other tablet users, as a web page to everyone else, or as a black and white image. I'm going to go ahead and pick Web Page. and it automatically attaches my edited document into an email. I will then choose my recipient, add any notes at the bottom if I'd like, and send. Now that you have a good idea of how to use some tablet-specific functions, you should be able to take your tablet experience to the next level. For more information on the latest tablet PCs, please visit our website at iconparado.com. And check back soon for more tips and tricks on how to use your tablet PC, courtesy of Pareto TV.